Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Uh, it is maybe my favorite day of the year uh, outside of my birthday and St. Patrick's Day. It's New B Day. Um, we went with uh, another pure Russian hive, like Hive 2. Um, and so we got a package, just like last year. You can see there's a, a good cluster of bees in there getting ready to get into the hive with that little queen up the top. I'm gonna uh, release her right onto the comb. Um, much thanks to Phil and Megan at the Honey Exchange up on Stevens Ave. Uh, if I understand correctly, they drove uh, all through the day and night to get the bees back before uh, it's going to rain for the next couple of days. Um, and so without further ado, I um, was not expecting to pick them up today, so I hadn't, um, I had not. Uh, anticipated dumping them today and so usually I'd use a, a little bit of sugar syrup um, to spray them down and that kind of placates them I'm gonna use a little smoke instead uh, I had not heard this called the the thump and dump method let's see Oh, my queen is marked. This is a blue gear for queens uh, in the color-coded system so that you can tell how old your queens are. Uh, beautiful. It's uh, going to be an easy color to find in the hive. Uh, and so, without further ado, For the first time ever, I heard this called the uh, the thump and dump method. Um, which is not... Ah, uh, they do. They kind of just pour like sand. Uh, you would hardly believe if I told you. And uh, I am shocked without a sugar syrup how docile these bees are. Uh, although I can see they're already starting to lick up um, some of the syrup that's in there. I'm gonna let the queen right out onto some comb. Uh, which uh, we're very fortunate to to have just waiting. I want to be really cautious with this lady. Thing. 
out and onto the comb that we've got prepared for her here. If I could help her move along a little bit. But they certainly don't look averse to her. And she's on the cone. And eating her hive. I'm going to give it a second to make sure everything continues to look like it's going okay there. Whoops. Yeah, so the uh, little jelly feeder in there. So I'm going to chuck that to the side. And uh, wonder as I see my queen moving around. Uh, I put a little bit of um, pollen here to sort of encourage brood rearing. Uh, we can get some build up quickly. Hello. And uh, so that's the. I get a kick out of it. I'd never heard of it called the, the thump and dump method. That's how we get a, a package into the hive. Oh, is there more? There is more of that, that is jelly in here. I'm going to remove as much of that as I can. Without getting stung up too much. Good, uh, a good pattern of brood. And in the meantime, I'm going to unblock this entrance and start letting them do their thing. Woo! I think they like me. Um, so, that's it. Um, within the next few weeks, uh, we're gonna make start doing splits um, of some of our healthier hives and we're gonna start moving them out to uh, Doobie's farm out in Standish and uh, in the meantime I'll keep you guys posted on uh, what's going on here in the new hive one um, our purebred Russians hey everybody Welcome back to He Works Hard for the Honey. I'm Chris Portland's Boxing Beekeeper. And um, for the second time this week, we are installing uh, a package of purebred Russian bees. Um, I'm hoping they go in just as easily as the last ones. Uh, what we got last week were very, very sort of gentle, docile bees come with. A queen and this year's dot is going to be blue um, different uh,
different colors for different years so that you know the age of the queen and how long she's been there in the hive. Um, I like blue. It stands out in the hive, unlike, uh, definitely unlike yellow. And uh, so I'm gonna stick her in there. to the business of, uh, of what we call the, uh, the thump and dump method. Um, so we've got a feeder here in the middle. I'm going to take that out and it's just going to leave a hole here in, in the cage. There are three pounds of bees or uh, probably between 10 and 12,000. And um, like wet sand, I'm going to thump it and kind of dump them like, like wet sand. So, uh, Wish me luck that this goes just as swimmingly as it did last week. Pray for my camera person who is, I think, a little anxious um, that she's going to be so close for this process. And here we go. Here's the feeder, and here go the bees. And, oh, that was good. Um, we've got so many resources left over from previous hives that just haven't survived that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a whole new world when we get a package now, because although they're not an established hive, um, we've got tons of honey, drawn comb, um, that is the most unusual bee. Uh, and she's gone right about sort of cleaning up some, uh, some nectar. Um, so because um, they just don't need to take the time and resources to establish themselves, um, we just get to launch right into um, what becomes very quickly an established hive. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is close these ladies up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of... A lot of bees don't make it in the, uh, in the grand scheme of things. Um, so I've got a good pile that actually I think has covered up my queen. So I'm going to dig down to her. Um, I typically let the queen go uh, immediately, hoping um, and, and sort of betting on the fact that um, she has been accepted in the... Uh, in the process of shipping and then I'm gonna uh, let her go throw um, throw the the roof on the top and the feeder on the roof uh, and an extra box just so that fits and um, let's come back here in a couple of days and see how they're doing thanks for joining me